Welcome back, everybody. Now, when you think Thanksgiving, I know you think pies. I certainly do. And Maria is here to take it from our tables into our decor. Yes. Like only you can. I am here for the pie. Let's just put that out when there. When she says here for the pie, she means like <laughs> on earth. Yes. For cookies and pie. It is what I look forward to the most at Thanksgiving. I love a great dessert table. So I thought it'd be really fun to decorate. You can see we have all our pies displayed here, but to make it really kind of whimsical and special to do the little pie slices. And then of course, I have, look at our our pie placemats that uh -huh. we have on the table right here. Tough to say. Pie placemats, yeah. Easier to say make than to say. <laughs> and so you could have this at the kids table uh -huh. or truthfully, honestly, I think you could have it at the adult table as well. They're really cute. I have a prediction. I think a lot of people at home watching this are going to fall in love with this and make a ton of these. They're We're going to get so them in our mail. Easy. Just a prediction right now. Let's start with the garland first, okay? okay. The garland of pieces of pie. <laughs> okay, so the base of all of this is felt. Felt is inexpensive. You get it at the craft supply store or the fabric store. So usually when you're at the fabric store, they come in those big rolls. You can yep. use those as well. If you are at the craft supply store, they will come in kind of like 12 by 12 ish sheets um, and grab those. Those are going to be your easiest and best bet. Okay, so okay. we have our different colors. We have our sort of like pie crust that we're going to yes. start with. Yeah, we're going to start with the crust. Like That's how I eat my pie. Yes, me too. And uh, so what you do, I cut mine into four inches. Gotcha. And however long that it is, doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, so then I decided the length was going to be six and a half inches. So what I actually did uh, to create the sort of top part to fit the crust, I right. do one inch down from the top. And then I go to six and a half inches. You could make them bigger. You could make them smaller. That does not matter. But by folding it in half, you're ensuring that you, the peak is going to be right in the middle, exactly. right? So if you tried to do it just freehand, I mean, Marie would be fine. But if it was <laughs> me, my peak would be sort of off center. So you yeah. do an inch down and then about... An inch down and then you do that. And yeah. so with the reason I do this one inch right here, Boom. this is where we're going to put our additional crust to create that great detail. Right. And that goes right above the filling. And the filling is... Is the uh, is the felt as well so something uh, to keep in mind so you can see I have a template here a lot of this is step and repeat and to save yourself sanity some people might call it OCD I like to call it good planning and so what you do is create a template and then you can do this as your uh, sort of just step and repeat process for when you are Great. creating all of your pie slices and then Cameron you've got pumpkin there yeah. it looks like what is that like a rhubarb pie yeah. what is, what you, is, it depends on what you want my, my uh, father-in-law loves cherry pies so oh cherry pie cherry pies. there you go and it goes on like that and you want to make sure you keep that extra inch at the top excellent okay so, good and uh, add it on just with some hot glue Beautiful. You could use some, some fabric glue as well. A little Either something one, like these guys right here. I'll get my scraps out of the way. Yes. I love it. Now we're going to attach it to the crust. We're going to put the filling to the crust. Exactly. So you kind of just line it up like that. I like doing mine so you can see a little bit of the crust along the outside. And then you kind of add your details. So I'm going to add, uh, actually, Cam, you. let's do the top part of the crust. Okay. That works for you. Yeah. So this is a one-inch strip. And then what you do is very carefully add on your top part of the crust okay. and then it creates this cute little detail that looks like this. can you do this maria without burning your fingers i I'm just, just did no i'm just, oh you can't oh. Okay, so i don't feel so bad good no you just have to be very patient and careful and then this is where you can get really creative as uh -oh. well for instance oh, cam uh you <laughs> you just have to be do do a little pinch at the top on one side and then, okay, uh, super I close. It. I was about to show off, and then it just, like, popped off. The whole okay. thing just kind of, like. And uh, so, as you can see, I have some additional details over there. So, you can do your, uh, add some additional strips, like, yep. just to make it look like it's fun and detailed. But you could also add just a little bit of whipped cream. You can see over here, just like that, those are just, like, little white pom-poms that you add on. And I put it all on there just simply by gluing it onto a piece of twine. Yep. And the good news, Cameron, when you are making your pie placemats, the process is extremely similar. You just do a giant circle. This is what it looks like, kind of all stepped out. Beautiful. You can see I have this here. And then all you do is glue this on. And I'm going to flip to one that's already done like this. So if that's okay, I'm going to walk over to the table and show you. It's the same exact process. It just takes a lot more crust to create that. And then look at it. You have your pie, so you have your little super place super fun. And I added a little whipped cream on mine. Yes, perfect. How'd I do? The crust you, is a little uneven. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I would still enjoy a lovely pie no matter what. Not sure what happened over here. 
Uh, I'm gonna work on it. My next one's gonna be amazing. I believe that. Yeah. I believe in You're you. amazing. <laughs> These are so much fun. Like I said, I think people are gonna love them. More information, head over to hallmarkchannel.com, everybody, or visit fromscratchwithmaria.com.